one of those days where they really are liking what, what he said. Now there's going to come those times we're going to hear about where um, they're going to want to throw him over the cliff. But they're not going to like so much what he said. Last weekend I was home and I celebrated Mass in my home parish. And at the end of Mass, people said, aren't you ready to come back home after all these years? And I said, no. I said, because if I did in three months, you hate me. So I said, it's better I stay where I am and I just hop in from time to time. Oh, but don't you want to come back? I said, no. So uh, um, anyhow, um, it was kind of nice to be back and see uh, my family last week and lots of people on Saturday afternoon. Today, we hear the first reading again about love. About how we can't say we love God and we don't love others. In the hospital, we sometimes have a, um, a process where when someone new is um, coming in on board, especially in my department, um, a new volunteer, a new employee, we have them shadow another person for half a day or a day or a couple hours or whatever they're doing. Imagine if a total stranger was assigned to you today when you left this church to shadow you all day long. A total stranger is going to walk, a very objective person who doesn't know you, they're just going to observe you all day today. How would they see how you love throughout the day? What would they see what you love throughout the day? How would they see how you're loved throughout the day? What would they, what would they observe? A total stranger, totally objective person, doesn't know you, they're just there to see love in your life. Just there to watch the love in your life today. How you're going to be loved, how you're going to love, the things you love to spend money on, the things you love to spend your time on, your free time, whenever you get that, if you get that, or however that comes into play. You know, it's something we don't think about. Well, how would we, how would we be, I hate to use the word evaluate because it just has a negative connotation, but what would they, what would they see throughout the day? Maybe it's something to think about throughout the day today. Where is love in my life? From the morning to the afternoon to the evening to the night? Where is love? Because God is love. We hear that. We hear that every day this week in the first reading. God is love. How do we love? How do we love God? How does our love of God come through throughout the day? And what are the things that we love? And are we putting more into our love of God? Are there things we love more than we are showing our love for God by the way we show our love to others? It's a challenge. It's something we probably don't think about too often. Of having someone follow us throughout the day to see how we love. Let us continue to pray.